I think it, we might have some new citizens that moved into Ruby Hollow. Hello, anybody here? Yes, of course. What exactly is it you sell? This is perfect. We really need some decent tools and especially armor. Oh, hello Gonzalo. So I went and got some rubies, the local currency, and did a bit of trading with Angus and the armorers. And after a lot of trading, we actually managed to get some really good stuff off these guys. So Jenny and Gonzalo here sell this lovely diamond armor set and Angus sells us all diamond tools except no shovel. But the diamond stuff has a lot of blast protection, projectile protection, not things we want. But we'll just borrow your grindstone for a moment, if you don't mind, and get rid of some of these. And then we've got 35 levels so I'm sure we can go enchant and combine some of these ourselves. Oh, depth strider would be nice. I'm gonna go for this. Oh, fire prop. Oh, and protection chest plate. And oh, we're not on 30 levels anymore. Okay. Well, this will do for now anyway. It's a lot better than what we had. So I think what we'll do is move on to the main project of the day and once I have the levels, I'll enchant some more later. But we have something way more exciting in store today. I really wanna go get sniffers. I can't believe I've put it off this long. I don't know where a lukewarm ocean is to find the eggs, but I'm sure that we can find one. We'll construct our very first raft to sail the oceans in and then we'll head off. And this river's actually led us straight to the ocean it looks like, which is nice. I did not expect that, but it should be lukewarm ocean too, I think because we're near the jungle and the desert. Oh, look at that. Right, slight detour, we're going to the shipwreck. This thing is fully buried. I don't think I've seen any shipwreck so buried before. Oh, I found the boat. It's way down here. This is kind of insane. It's all embedded in stone. Oh, a chest. And, oh, buried treasure. That might've made it worth it. Oh, another one. And this is kind of just the junk chest. And the treasure is somewhere over here. We're really close. Oh, and we found the treasure. No diamonds, but we did get a heart of the sea. Look, there's a ruins. It's the exact kind of spot that might have a sniff rig. Oh, look at that. This has like four or five structures. Oh, hello, sir. Let's start with this. Oh my gosh, this one is weird. And that map probably goes to where we were. Although, more importantly, it looks like we have some sus sand. What's it gonna give us? Not a sniff rig. Oh, is this another wooden hoe? It is, it's like the junkiest thing we could get. Okay, I wonder if there's any sus sand in the water. Oh, here's one. And it's a shard? It's an angler shard, it has a fishing rod on it. I think we're going to have issues with drowning here though. So let's make some doors and try this again. We've got one here and one here, I think. Oh, a snort pottery shard. That's a sniffer. And then another wooden hoe. Well, even though that ruin had five different structures, I really thought we'd have good luck with it, but it was a bust. So let's keep looking around. Here's one much smaller one we can have a look at. Oh, oh my gosh, first try. Oh, it's a sniffer egg. Oh my gosh, we got our first one. Even the picture of it is ginormous. Okay, this little ocean monument is very lucky. Let's try again. And this is not another one, okay. That's all right. We are gonna keep trying for a second one though because I wanna be able to breed them. We might have to, oh, oh no, I broke one. If that was a sniffer egg, that would be so sad. Let's just forget that ever happened and we'll keep looking. The next monument I found had a trident man and I decided that without my shield, that was just a no-go. But then I found this monument and we got our second sniffer egg. So with that, we can head back home. 
We made it back with our two new sniffer eggs. I'm not really sure what to do with these yet. I want to hatch them straight away, but I feel like we need a home for them first. I think I have an idea though. I want to make a sniffer sanctuary and it's going to be a little bit out of town so that it can be a little bit bigger. So we need kind of a clear flat section of land. Oh, maybe over there. Okay, I think this could be really good. There's a couple of big holes, so we will have to do some terraforming. But other than that, I think it'll be perfect. I've seen people do sniffer sanctuaries before and usually the theme I've seen people go for is quite bright and kind of tropical. Which makes sense because the sniffers themselves look kind of tropical. But we are on a cold mountain in a cherry grove so I think we'll do something a bit more fitting. So we'll make use of having some of these trees in the sanctuary as well as using the pink wood. And then I'm thinking we'll also use some more sniffery colours like yellow and green alongside the pink. And if you couldn't tell from our inventory, our kind of more neutral block will be spruce. But let's finish. Oh my gosh, we have to patch up this whole hole. Whole hole? So let's get that done and then we can get started. Okay, I think what I'd like to start with is some kind of cute entrance build. Kind of like a little gatehouse. So we'll have a gate here and then we'll make it into kind of a dome. Okay, so kind of a double gate. So you go in here, close the gate, and then go in here and you're in the sniffer pen. So we'll build these up a little and then add a roof. We're gonna try something kind of weird for the roof and line it with these. Kind of as though the petals are actually a part of the roof. That's kind of cute so far and it'll mean that we have this nice particle effect. Next, above it, we'll add a layer of spruce. And then don't judge the dip because it's going to become moss. This is looking nice. I'd love to get some kind of flooring in here as well, but I also want to work on the fences around the enclosure. I'm not too sure what to do with the fences, but we do have all this spruce wood, so maybe something with that. And then on top of that, what if we had bamboo fences? Oh my gosh, listen to that sound. All the new blocks make the best sounds. Okay, we will definitely need to go grab more bamboo, but that is okay. Okay, everything is fenced in. And I feel like at this stage, before we do anything else, we could probably plant the sniffer eggs. Plant is definitely the wrong word. I think I was thinking of that because you kind of put them on moss. Actually, let's do one here. And I believe this should make them grow faster. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's so big and cute in its own weird egg way. Oh, I love them. These are going to be sniffers soon. I'm so excited. Okay, but we should be able to keep a good little eye on these while we keep working on their enclosure. I think I want to start with a little shelter building for them somewhere over here. So maybe we do one section of it kind of with pillars but no walls. And then another section next to it can be actually walled in. Like this. Oh, maybe it should be longer, like have a section off the side. This may be the way. Oh, I heard a crack. Oh, they're both cracking. I guess they're like turtle eggs. I'll probably crack a couple of times and then they'll break. And then we'll get our sniffers. Okay, let's keep going. crack and they're both doing it at the same time as well we're gonna have two sniffers at the same time i think oh, it's happening so quickly i'm gonna be a sniffer mum. this building's looking very long we might need to break it up a little bit by doing something here like instead of going straight across with the spruce we could make a little a-frame something like this oh my gosh i didn't notice some hatch i didn't even make a sound and it's still the same day. That was so fast. Oh my gosh, look at you. We have two snifflets. Oh my gosh, we need to name you. Oh, he's looking at me. These guys are so cute and I love their noises and I love their little noses. They're like prehistoric dogs or something. And now we've finished our little building for them as well. I used it as kind of a hay bale storage. I know they don't actually eat hay, but we can pretend. 
And oh, I forgot to strip this. But before we do any more decorating, I think I want to add in a path. So we'll do a path going from here to the entrance and then we can start to kind of decorate around it and figure out what else we're doing. One thing that I would definitely like to do is grow some of the moss on the ground. Yes, it makes it a little bit more cute. And then we can also add some of these flowers. And we can grow some cherry trees. I'm going to try one over here. Whoa, this one is big. It's kind of nice though. I'm not mad at it. And we can hang maybe lanterns off it. Oh, and I want rose bushes for a pop of red. Since red is one of the sniffer's colours. I also completely forgot. I bought these pot shards with pictures of a sniffer. Where should we put these? Maybe at the entrance? Like out here? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love that. And we'll pop these in them. I'm going to try to repeat a few of these decorations all around the pen. Oh my gosh, it's big and it's sitting down. Oh my gosh, what is it doing? What is that? It's a pitcher pod. Oh my gosh, this guy is huge. Why are you so big? This is like my favorite thing ever. Okay, you guys have got to help me with sniffer names, please. I'm so obsessed. They're so big. Look at that, it looks like a little vegetable. I love it. Okay, and now we wait and I'm gonna finish decorating. I think the sanctuary is done. Let's do a little walk around. It's looking so pretty though. So first we have this little entrance and the floor is actually made of, these bits are the new bookshelves. They're kind of expensive to make as a floor, but they're really cute and they go really well with the stripped oak. Anyway, coming in here, to our right, we have a little wheat area and our pond. I really wish we had lily pads for this pond. We'll add them as soon as we get some. And then over this side, we have our little cherry blossom tree and I added a little seat. And then of course, when we follow the path along, we get to the building. And on the other side, oh, are you digging something up? I think you are. I think you gave me a torch flower seed. Anyway, on the other side of the path, it leads to a little crops area. And this is for anything that they dig up. So we've got some crops I dug up and once they're done, we can plant them anywhere. So of course I had to use a few. We've got a torch flower over there and a pitcher pod and another torch flower. Of course we had to use them to decorate the enclosure. But I think this place is looking really beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted it to be. All we're missing is a few more sniffers. I think maybe these torch flower seeds are what breeds them, but I could be completely wrong. Oh, it is following me. That is a good sign. Come here. And you? Um, why is nothing happening? Is this in the way? You guys good? Okay, nothing happened. I feel like I'm wasting my torch flower seeds. We're gonna try this again. Oh, something happened. Is there a baby? Oh, it's an egg. I don't know why I was expecting a snifflet. This actually makes way more sense. Well, I'm gonna wait for this egg to hatch and also try to breed one more so that we have a sniffer family. So we shall stare at the egg and wait. And we did it, we hatched two sniffer eggs, so now we have a full family of four. They should grow up soon, but for now we have our two adults and a baby here. Oh my gosh, look at its little footsteps. Why does it look like it's marching? It's so cute. And the other one is over here. I can't wait to use these flowers some more next, but for now I think that'll be all. So thank you for watching, leave name suggestions below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye